we've we've chosen this ludicrously ambitious theme of escape the illusion <laughs> that we cannot possibly ever come close to doing justice to really, but that won't stop us having a go. Um, so escape the illusion. And what I had in mind, to the extent that I have everything in mind, I'm just really showing up to flow with you spontaneously and co-create however it comes to us, Jeanette. But to the extent that I maybe had something in mind, I was thinking that there are kind of two ways to look at that. Mm -hmm. There is the, the 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 most zoomed out way of looking at it, which is escape from the illusion. Yeah. And there is another level, though. Remember, Paul McCartney has taught us there are seven levels. Yes. There's another level between that and completely duped by the illusion, which would be something along the lines of escaping within the illusion. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think that's comparable, not not precisely comparable, but somewhat comparable to the ideas that we see in spiritual literature of comparing awakening within the dream, so becoming lucid within the dream, with awakening from the dream, that we're now in a way apart from the dream. And they're not exactly um, similar, really, because I think it is possible to awaken from the dream and then choose though not to escape from it and this is pointing a finger to the subtle well is it subtle no it's quite a, a gross distinction really that that many if not buddhists make between buddhahood being a becoming a buddha mm -hmm. and being a bodhisattva and i'm using the term bodhisattva here now in the not uh, beyond the, the 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 literal Sanskrit meaning of Bodhi and Sattva, um, to the way that Buddhists use it to mean someone that chooses, makes a conscious choice to stay this side of Buddhahood, to remain behind, to be someone who um, is assisting others mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. to move okay. towards yes. uh, Buddhahood. It's, uh, Probably the best, you know, there's no probably possibly better known, no better known example of a bodhisattva than uh, than Yeshua the Christ, who really eschewed Buddhahood um, to be a bodhisattva, a teacher, a guide of others, and so. Yeah, that, that was kind of an overarching idea that had come to me. Um, well, y yes, I, I will just go on, if I may. Yes, yes go ahead. The, 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 I'm looking forward to, to hear what, what you have to say in response. So, it, it's, it, it, it's my view, it's my, it, it, it's my way of looking at it, and it's by no means original, ever so many smarter people than this have said something, than me have said something similar already, that we are in a spiritual war. Yeah. And yeah. there's nothing new about this spiritual war. It's been going on for millennia. Yeah. And um, however, there's no, there seems to be no doubt that it's coming to a crescendo, coming to a conclusion, a denouement of some kind, it would seem. Certainly, it appears to have been our, the adversary, uh, the, 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 the ones I would consider to be our adversary in the war, have certainly ramped up the pace of it these last mm -hmm. three and a half years or so in ever so many ways. And the, ba the battlefield, that you and I know about. There may be others uh, going on uh, throughout the cosmos, but we don't know, or I don't know, but I do know that one of the, the scenes for this war, one of the battlefields, is planet Earth. So, 
you know, one has incarnated here, whether it's for the first time or the trillionth time in, in a human nervous system. And it seems to me, Jeanette, that there would be no point in doing that to then be in a mad hurry, a mad rush to escape the illusion. Yes. Because however illusory it is, and at the level of quantum physics, we know that it is illusory. Just as we know this illusion behind me here is just really pixels of light on a screen. If we amplified it right down close into it, we'd, we'd just be an empty space, really. There wouldn't be this image um, on its own until we bring our observational perception into it. And there's, the, there's a key. Illusory does not equal meaningless. Okay. Very, very important key. However illusory this spiritual war may be, by no stretch of the imagination is it meaningless. It could not be no. more meaningful. Yes. And so what I say is, we are here now in this amazing in this, um, these amazing moments within the eon that we're living through. And it behoves us to, A, pick the right side of the war, the right side of history, and B, play full out to be one who's, um, one who's making the winning of that war. Yeah, and shining the light. Yes, more likely. Um, so yes, as a yogi, my ultimate aim is escape from the illusion, moksha, liberation from samsara, the cycle of death and rebirth. However, I'm also working on the gross level to do anything I can to extend my physical longevity because I'm, I don't want to miss this. I want to be here until we've at least made a start. Uh, and, and, and until our adversary is defeated in in disarray, parasitically devouring itself now, and we, the meek people, the gentle but strong, the humble yet noble, are now building the building the new earth 